being human in an era of post-humanism. In what follows, we refer to a thing that we may be able to call the system. Uh, this uh, system is informational. That is, um, there exist little things about the world around us and about the people around us that may not be found on a computer server somewhere these days. The system is computerized, that is, elements of artificial intelligence or of game theory of optimization are applied to the entire two parameters of uh, that characterize entire populations uh, or to their place of dwelling or to their lifestyles and so on and so forth. The system presents features of elitism um, that is we may be able to characterize this form of elitism as fostering the reproduction of certain individuals within the populations in question while annihilating other individuals based on some form of criteria based on some criteria that we are we are not able to identify um, as far as things go right now. This type of elitism, the elitism in question is essentially nihilistic, okay? This is because what was formerly known as aristocracy in the West, in the in, 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 in the East and all around us, in, in most places that I know, okay, what was formerly known as aristocracy since um, reasonably since since times reasonably very close to the point in time that we live in. What was called aristocracy is not, I repeat, is not immune to being actually um, subjected to this, uh, this type of genocidal practices. The system in question is in fact visible to the trained eye through the infrastructure around us. So, we look at how things look like through an objective perspective. We look, how, we look at how the infrastructure around us looks and feels like and we are able to deduce that we live a synthetic reali re reality, a synthetic reality, a heavily engineered reality. Acts of murder against human beings are, or were, in fact, less visible to most of us, and that explains the fact that this system, the system, in question was tolerated for a very, very long time. We may be able to compare this system and this state of post-humanism to the 1920s, for example, to the 1920s crisis of overproduction. What happened then was the, that presumably there existed an overproduction in agricultural products in particular and because the price went down significantly uh, these agricultural products had to be dumped and well populations eventually starved the official historical explanation for this 
um, happening for this for for this particular event is well the price the is that the price of these primarily food products but uh, by all means not restricted to food the price dropped significantly so there was no incentive really for the producers to hand them out to the population at, at such a low price. I'm not going to argue for or against this view, I am simply going to say that this type of explanation for the 1920s phenomenon of the crisis of overproduction is not to be believed that is it is, it is to be analyzed critically and in my opinion I'm just going to state this without argument in my opinion the crisis of overproduction in itself uh, the explanation for that is manufactured in my opinion and as usual the, uh, elitism was still the um, governing law for the, the times in question the 1920s and well the crisis of overproduction in question was possibly directed by somebody it was a put up phenomenon okay just as the covid pandemic that uh, we now hopefully we we have overcome we we did manage to overcome was also a cre a, a phenomenon created by men created by human beings and directed against human beings the question we are able to ask is as follows why is it that many people today do live in conditions of extreme poverty for example the United States um, it is well known that uh, in recent times or in recent times more than more than in the past maybe I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure what the situation is but it is well known there exists a lot of people living in trailers and trailer parks in the United States uh, the situation is bad in Australia too. There exists a lot of people living in poverty in Australia. The list can go on indefinitely. All right. Um, there doesn't exist, as far as we are aware, that there does not exist a country that doesn't possess features of poverty among their population. And we are able to answer this question immediately and we are able to observe immediately that this situation is not an a priori necessity. Of course, by this uh, statement I have not said much. I mean, um, I have not linked this state of... By, uh, by answering the question like this, I have not linked the system in question, the post-humane system, I have not linked it to a, a malvolence and a, um, a general mental state of malvolence that, that somebody displays or, or somebody manifests against their fellow human beings. This, however, is in fact the case. Um, and um, to me at least, uh, it, is, it is entirely, entirely self-evident that this situation, this situation, the situation of poverty in particular, is an artificially created one. The very brief argument is as follows. 
walk into your supermarket wherever you are right now work, um, in America or Australia okay what do walk into your local grocery shop you will see a lot of products okay and a lot of food a lot of you 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 will be able to find everything that you need okay however there is a catch many of these products are in fact poisoned by chemicals okay many times in many cases this type of chemical poisoning is done through um, is done through what is called preservatives but uh, by all means it is not uh, restricted to this uh, this type of chemical enhancements all right therefore uh, the state of mind that somebody manifests this state of mind of, of uh, malvolence uh, against their fellow human beings becomes evident because well one there does exist enough resources that there do exist enough resources for all of us all right that is the first point and the second point is when these resources, namely food in particular, are dispatched to us, um, they are poisoned. All right. So there exists this extra element, the chemical poison in what we uh, intake, and that, uh, in addition to to, in addition to the fact that we do actually have enough resources uh, for everybody at this point in time, uh, create something like a, in, in, in my line of deduction at least, create something uh, uh, more or less visible contradiction. All right, because I'm saying that I am saying this because, well, if there do if there does exist enough food for uh, everybody and that the, the does exist enough resources for everybody people can live happy and fulfilling lives then why why actually poison these people since in fact we cannot we, there is no chance that we can in fact uh, invoke Malthusianism um, by no means we can, in fact, uh, invoke Malthusianism for acts of malvolence against fellow human beings.